There is a lot to talk about today, so not all of it's stuff that I'm super excited to talk about, but it's important, and let's just get on into it, because uh, I want to let everyone know that this year, uh, as much fun as I had at End War 2018 and 2019, I will not be attending End War 2020. This is a major bummer. I'm really uh, not happy about it, but without going too long-winded, hopefully, the last couple years at End War have been more detrimental than beneficial for me. Um, as many of you know, I have been trying to figure out some health issues and uh, also get some mental health issues kind of in a better place, and these trips cause a lot of issues. Uh, essentially, for at least two months prior to the trip, I will stop trying to make any forward progress because sometimes things I take will have negative side effects and if I'm going on a trip I don't want to uh, be worrying about those so I'll stop everything and essentially for a chunk of the year not make any progress and then when I go on the trip it's usually just full of anxiety and panic and I come back in worse shape and then have to spend time recovering um, honestly I was in Georgia for end war last year for five days six days I left the hotel on two of them I think I was having panic attacks I was uh, I, actually the night I arrived I was looking at flights to leave and go home the panic attacks and anxiety were so bad so I uh, you know glad I made it through the weekend was able to meet people at foam con and participate in the foam pro tour but it was a significant drain and set me back quite a ways in terms of my health. So I'm hoping that this year by not going, I will be able to focus more on the health aspect and be in a better place for next year, which is, you know, I, the ideal goal here is to be healthy and good and able to travel to things and go to events and do all the things I want to do in this hobby. So. Uh, again, fingers crossed on that. That's, that's the goal. I will miss seeing all of you there and getting to spend time with you and, and just hang out and honestly participating in the Foam Pro Tour. Dauntless will still be there. Dauntless will still be competing and defending their title. Uh, I just will not be uh, present for that. I will be trying to be supportive and helping the team practice but I will not be on part of the uh, active roster for the Foam Pro Tour this year, which makes me very, very sad and made this a very hard decision to make, but I feel it was the right one in the long run. So hopefully that will show benefits for me in the next year. But again, sorry about it. I just wanted to let you all know, and I hope that everyone who is going has a wonderful time there. Something else real quick that's actually been kind of hard for me to post is I'm going to be selling some of my personal blasters, the Fabu Strife, Fabu Kronos, Retaliator, uh, the, the Sweet Revenges, the Fabu Shots. They're all potentially up for sale. I did a community post and a post on Instagram. It hurts me to post them, to potentially sell them. You know, listing these is uh, a bit sad, but Hopefully, if they sell, they go to good homes. And uh, yeah, if you have details on that, you can check the community post if you're interested. Um, we'll keep on the trend of recent things here. Tag Talk is officially up as a podcast now. We have filmed two episodes. Uh, the first one is up on our podcast page. It is available on Spotify and uh, Stitcher at the moment. Currently, Apple Podcasts, Google Podcasts, and some of the other ones are still like in review and in that process. Uh, I'll have a direct link down below as well to our podcast page. Uh, we are recording these live. Uh, we record them live on Twitch. If you want to head over to my Twitch channel, again, I'll have a link down below for that. You can uh, hang out with us and we you know, look through chat as we're doing the podcasts and kind of catch things people are saying to be able to further the conversation and make it more than just myself and Walcom. So uh, if you want to get in on that, definitely check out the links about that. Uh, that actually, I think that'll take me into kind of 
what I want to do with this channel in the future. I know I touched on it in a video like a month or two ago, uh, a while back, kind of that I've been having some thoughts and some things that I want to pursue personally, kind of um, for myself to whether it's like uh, pushing myself or proving something to myself and kind of taking a risk potentially on some things. Um, there's a few ideas that I've had that just have kind of stuck. Riot Games, potentially this week, will be announcing their newest FPS, which will be somewhat like Counter-Strike and has a lot of professional players, curious, some already quitting their current games to prep for this to play it. So I am heavily considering diving into this. It's something as well that I can do from home, which is big for me because uh, leaving the house and going out places, you know, going to Nerf events and going out to conventions stuff, that, that's not easy for me to do. I'm wondering, and I have wondered, if you started from scratch, could you go pro in your 30s? And I thought up a whole kind of series of stuff, uh, of videos and kind of content and everything that could go with that. Uh, and it's an idea that I think is interesting and fun. And there's probably a lot of people that are in my age range that were in a similar boat. When esports was young and there wasn't really much stability in it or ability to make a living off it unless you were the absolute top player in something in most cases. Um, so you didn't. You did something else instead and you let that passion kind of die, which was a bummer. But something I can do from home, you know, a combination of videos and streaming and stuff like that, may make sense while I'm focusing on my health. So why not take this year where I'm, I'm focusing on this stuff and do something that I can from here? And why not try that and, and put myself in that position? And if it doesn't pan out, it doesn't pan out. I tried it and I know. This is all while continuing tag talk. I wanna make sure this is very apparent. I don't wanna just bail on this hobby. I love this hobby. Uh, so tag talk, for me, it, the plan is for that to be the constant. The thing that will happen ideally every single week. This is an idea that it feels like, for once I should listen to myself and, and try it. So we'll have more information as kind of announcements happen and just know that the channel may shift, but I'm not completely bailing on Nerf. That is not my intention, it's not my desire. Um, I will still be going to events when I can. We still have our competitive league, Bay Area Foam Sports here that, uh, you know, I, I host and help, get with help from others, of course. So still will be involved in Nerf. Don't worry about that. Uh, this is just something that, you know, I have ideas that I feel I need to pursue. Um, and this may be one of them. Other ideas are things that involve more long-term projects, like kind of 30-day chunks or or, or batches of time where I do something and then kind of discuss it. And there's other things where like, I'm uh, just stuff I enjoy from my perspective. And I don't want to get too bogged down in details because I feel like I already did for the esports thing. But needs to say is I feel like I need to attempt something different uh, with this channel. Uh, again, not that Nerf will disappear completely, just that it's likely there will be something different on here. If that means you have no desire to, to be here or watch anymore, I totally understand. I respect that. But I really do hope that you'll come along on this adventure with me because honestly, I love sharing the things I'm passionate about with all of you and getting to discuss things with you. It's just one of the best parts of all of this. And if it fails, it fails. If it doesn't, it doesn't. I just need to do something for myself because over a decade of not listening to myself and not diving full on into things is starting to, I shouldn't say starting to, has taken its toll. The goal right now is to have, you know, YouTube videos, the podcast, live streams like three times a week once I can build up to it and, you know, still doing contract work and stuff like that. that that's my personal goal, like to make something sustainable and take myself seriously and not undersell myself, which is something I have done consistently. So. Uh, it's something I am going to attempt. It's not to say this is a going to sell out, take any offer I can on anything to monetize. No, it's no. Doing things right, of course. 
respect is such a big thing to me. So like, I'm not going to try and just, you know, bail on people. I mean, if you're on Patreon, you know, I haven't been actually charging patrons anything for who knows how long now. I don't want to just siphon things. I want to earn things and, you know, have it make sense. So again, I just want to try things that are things I can do from here while I'm focusing on my health. Because this year, regardless of what I jump into, my health will be the number one thing and it will dictate everything else. So it's important to me that I don't let anything uh, take that over, which I've done in the past. I need to kind of just focus on it and get well and get healthy. And I, I'm, my fingers crossed I can do it. I'm still looking forward to all the crazy things that are gonna happen in the Nerf Hobby over the next few years. So I'm stoked to be here for that with all of you. I'm just hoping to be able to share more of my passions with you as well, including that. Doing the live streams has been a ton of fun getting to talk with people live, so definitely would love to have you hang out over there, regardless of what we're doing. I always want to hear from all of you. So that said, uh, share your thoughts down below. Um, you know, what do you think about having this channel do something a little different? There are no wrong answers. You can tell me this is the stupidest idea you've ever heard. Totally valid. I'll accept it. Uh, I just need to do something to believe in myself and push myself without, well, finding the right balance. Let's put it that way. That's, that's a good way to put it. Balance. Because health is important. Got it, got it. If you ever see me doing something stupid, just remind me that health is what I'm supposed to be focusing on this year. Because I, I'm really bad at it. But it's the goal. Fingers crossed.